welcome back to T8 Archery Slash Outdoors. Today we're doing a bow build for my 2020 ASA bow or 3D bow or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to go through this bow is completely bare except the peep sight's already in it. But um, I'm just going to go through, build it, and let y'all watch how I set these bows up and everything. So yeah, let's get to it. First, um... Well, I'm going to go ahead and start with the arrow rest. I'm going to get my Allen wrench set out. Allen wrench set. And I've got this bolt attached in here because it's been sitting around for a while. And this is a, what is it, a? Trophy taker trip wire. Yes, trophy taker trip wire. I'm just going to go ahead and bolt it on right here, which most people think you do have to have a bow press to set these things up and a bow vise and all that. You don't have to. I don't have a bow vise or a bow press or anything or a draw board. Not that I don't want them. It's just that I don't have an extra several hundred dollars to drop on them, so I don't have them at this point. That's probably pretty close. I might adjust it a little bit later on from there. Um, but that's on there now, and I'm going to go ahead and time it. Now, the big thing that a bow press seriously does help with is getting all the stuff put in. I'm going to have, basically, if you don't have a bow press, you're going to have to take the limb bolts out until your string kind of loose to put your uh, rest cord in. So I'm going to have to do that real quick. And my bow takes this wrench right here. And I'm going to take it out real quick. Alright, took my bow out quite a bit. The string's probably loose enough. Yeah, I want to say it is. Um, I've marked this cable right here with a small bit of blue. I'm just going to split it real quick and put that in right there. So, pull that off right there. Not being as easy to work with as I was hoping. I can pull it out of the cable slide. And There we are. And yes, this is 100% as hard as it looks to do without a bow press. The biggest part is just making sure you, right here, making sure I get the uh, strands actually split evenly. Because I'll get a split when it's this low, it's not that hard to split them. But then, when you don't have, like you got, in, if you're using 20 strands, you got 9 on one side and uh, 11 on the other. You gotta, you know, put it back because you want it to be in the middle. Now I'm just going to put my cable slide on here. i got to make sure I put it on right. Let's see. Yeah, that's how it goes. And I'm going to throw that on right there. And there we are. That is in. And I'm just going to turn my bow back up real quick. And then work on timing it all right um one thing do that you do have to account for when you uh do this without a bow press is when you like take it down and split the strings to put stuff in uh you have to really be careful not to fry the strings while you're trying to split them because it's really easy to just mess up so you're best off just taking it really low down and doing it um but just you know i am shooting the matthews mission rally so that's, it's the target bow I've got right now. Not the target bow I'm going to shoot forever, but the one I've got for now, so I'm shooting that. 
got the rest cord put in right here. Um, I'm going to have to time it still. You know, you tie this in, you put all the stabilizer stuff on, the sight stuff on, D-loop and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and serve in the peep sight so that uh, it's safe to pull it back because if your peep sight's not served in and you accidentally dry fire it, that peep sight can like, in the vibrations of the string can twang out and it could hit you in the eye or something. So I'm going to go ahead and get that served in so it's out of the way. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to tie a band around here because my peep, so peep sight may not be in the right spot yet. So I still want to be able to move it around. So this one band here will not uh, keep it in one exact spot. So I can still tweak it to perfect for my height, my eye height. So I'm just tying that in real quick so that it's safe to pull back. All right, now I'm going to get the rest timed and I'm going to tie on a D-loop. And then I'm gonna start checking peep height just to you know get it all fine-tuned for my anchor point and where the peep sight's gonna go and everything. So let's get into that now. All right, so basically what I'm doing, this is gonna get my arrow rest close is I'm just tight and I want maybe an inch extra that's not tight so I'm gonna pull that through a tiny bit right there now that's gonna be super close to right on so now I'm going to bring my rest all the way up and Levi can you hand me one of my arrows so I'm going to take and find out exactly where on all this is level, which is going to be difficult to do here. Going to hold my arrow rest all the way up. And I need a marker because I'm just going to knock right above my arrow, right above the, going to mark right above my knock on the serving at what is eyeballed for level and I'm gonna tie knock point there and then I'll micro tune all that in the uh, arrow rest so This is definitely being fickle. I want to say that that right there is about level. Pretty close to it at least. So now I've got a mark on there that I think I can see, but I'm not sure. I think I've got that right there where I can see it. Being that it's black serving means it's a lot harder to see. I'm going to tie a quick knock point there and then i uh, just see if it's in the right spot real quick. So I'm going to just find that spot again wherever it was. All right, let's see. It was about, lost in a spot again. It's about right. Let me move it up. Yeah, I probably need a different colored marker, being that that's brown marker on a black piece of serving. It's not showing up super awesome. So, I'm just going to see if that's fairly close. Alright, so that right there is too high. I'm going to... 
just scoop this here doesn't want to scoop down so uh, there we are now once I get this an easier way to do this is going to be to just take a highlighter or a fluorescent marker would work super awesome for it and just mark it with like a bow square or something which I have and I'm not sure why I'm not using it right now that's a tiny bit angled up I think right there is my perfect spot Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, that's tied right where I need it at. So now, I'm going to throw my D-loop on here and show you everything I do for that real quick. So, for my... I need to grab something I can mark this better with it. I'll be right back. Alright, I've decided to just get my bow square because I need to speed things up because at this point, this video is going to be taking forever. So, I'm going to take bow square on here, snap it down nice and tight, and just move it to perfectly level, and then it'll sit there while I tie on the D-loop. So it makes things nice and easy then. Let's see my rest all the way up. Right. right there. Now we've got somewhere. And I can just take and set this down, and it is marking where I tie my D loop on at. So now we're getting somewhere with this. I need D loop material. Right here, my D loop material. To need that. And I'm going to need to take this here off, which is in the right spot. It's just hard to work around, so maybe speeding things up here. Don't want to take forever. All right, got my arrow rest served in real quick. Well, it wasn't real quick, but D loop put on with the knock points. Peep sights at the right height. I just need to serve it in. In the meantime, we can listen to a few tunes. Now that we got the peep sight in, listen to a song real quick. Now we're going to move on to the next step, which I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do my stabilizer mount. So, not sure if we did the review on this yet, or if it's up or not. I don't think it is up yet, but it's a completely metal stabilizer mount for an excellent price. I think the review is going to be coming up soon, so... I'm going to throw this thing on. It's got quick disconnects on the rear bar mount and the front piece, so rocking awesome. I'm going to throw it on here, get it nice and level, and yeah. So I'm going to put, where is that plastic washer at? There's that one. Check that metal washer off. The plastic thing there. Put this here on the back. Screwing this thing in here. Okay. 
And I was using this on my hunting bow, so it does have a tiny bit of wear on it. But I'm always completely hard on everything I use, so that's to be expected. Let's tighten down as hard as I can because I'm going to run a decent amount of back weight on my back stabilizer, my rear stabilizer, so I want that locked down nice and tight. That shouldn't move, and if it does, I'll just put it back on. All right, now we're going to get the front rod screwed in real quick. I need my other plastic washer. There it is. If I can get that picked up. Just drag it over here to the edge of the table. So I'm going to have that on there. This quick disconnect with that. Just all goes together right there. And I've got a piece on this front quick disconnect that's going to send my front bar at an angle slightly down when I have it like that. But I can sort of make it go a little bit to the side if I want it, you know, get perfect balance pending on, you know, everything. So that's pretty, pretty sweet. Though I'm probably just going to run it. Eh, I might run it a tad to the side. But... That's not a big deal. Alright, now. One, two. Tighten that down as much as I can. And that's probably going to leave it at right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, now. Stabilizer mounts are on here, and I'm going to go ahead and show y'all something I'm very excited about. Our new T8 stabilizers, they are not for sale yet. I am on the team that tests them. This is the stabilizer completely bare, this front rod, front uh, bolt here. You can adjust it without having to get new bolts or any Allen wrenches. Easily adjustable right there. Um, but I'm part of the team that tests these things out, so... I'm testing them out. I've got a 10 inch for my back and a 30 inch right here for my front rod. They're carbon rods. They're micro diameter, so they're super awesome, super cool. We've got some great new dampening systems out that we're going to be using on these, but they're not for sale yet, so we'll make a video when they are. I'm going to go ahead and set them up. I've got quite a few weights here that I'm going to be putting on here with them. And yeah, super exciting about all, super excited about all this. There, that's what I'm looking for right there. This piece right here. This is the uh, quick disconnect piece. That screws on right here. And that will just uh, tighten that down to pretty much the point you need it to. And then you slide it on there, and just in a few turns, you're attached. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Which I think I need to adjust that a little bit. But, yeah, super awesome new stabilizers that we're working on. So, yeah. And I'm going to throw some weights on here. Which, for some reason, that's still in there. Well, who cares? So I'm going to throw some weights on here, and generally I start by doing double on the back as what I have on the front. So I'm going to take and put 8 ounces on the back. I'm not actually the kind of guy that runs like 30 ounces or anything on my bow. There's 8 ounces with all those. One of our Bad Vibe dampeners. So... Super awesome. It screws on to the front bolt. Super cool. And an end cap. Just caps everything off. Looks super awesome. So it all matches and everything. These will be offered in colors as well. But I'm not talking about that right now. And somehow I got that in there. So. I'm going to throw my stabilizer rig together. See how much space I'm going to need. 
and all that. Okay, I think I have enough space on here now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do the bad vibe dampener next. Get all these weights lined up how I want them. And now I'm just gonna tighten that down as much as I want to. The weights are not threaded, so they're just slide over, which is pretty simple. Uh, these, I got two of these on here. These are two ounce weights. And then I'm gonna use four of these. These are one ounce weights. And this is my end cap here. Super awesome. So yeah, super awesome looking. And all this rubber here dampens quite a bit, so yeah. So the stabilizer itself I think is 5.5 ounces. Then we've got, or it's 5 ounces exactly, I'm not sure. It's 5.5. Yeah, I think so. Um, then we got two 2 ounce weights, 4 1 ounce weights. This here is one ounce, it's a half ounce. So we're looking at 5.5, that'll make it six. And then we got another eight, so that's right there, 14 plus that, so 15 ounces here. And then my front rod, I forget how much these weigh. Um, but I'm going to put not like a boatload on these things. Because the front, uh, generally don't put as much on the front. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't need nearly as much because I'm actually I'm only not doing those two pieces, so. Get this screwed in here. Alright, that should be good. I'm going to take four weights here. Yep, that's four. The bad vibe dampener and our end cap and I think I might do two weights and then the dampener just to make it look kind of cool uh, it already looks super awesome but that might help it out a tiny bit I don't know I'm gonna stabilizer uh, weights is something that you you know, you're not going to get it right the first time. You generally got to toy around with them a little bit before you get them absolutely 100% perfect. So, yeah. Alright, so front rod here. Back rod here. Super cool looking. So, now I'm going to put them on the bow. Take. Oops, I knocked it off. That's fine. I'll pick it back up in just a sec. Okay, now, quick disconnect piece. Screws on right here. If I can get it to line up. Alright, there we are. Now, again, these things are super handy dandy. Just like... Once you get them set, it only takes like a half turn and you're off. So, especially for putting them in bow cases and stuff, makes it a ton easier. Alright, now, I need to take that out a little bit. Just a quick disconnect. And see, what has to happen is, has to get it to where, uh, just see this piece just slides in right there. That's a little bit snug right now. But uh, after a few times of taking it on and off, it's a lot easier. And I've actually never even shot in a 30 inch rod before. This is for target target shooting. Hunting, never shoot this long with a stabilizer. At least it's my opinion on it. 
think that's about how it's gonna go. Like that. It's angled down quite a bit. I actually didn't realize it would be angled that much. I think I definitely need a little bit more back weight on here. Let's get it at full draw and see. And see here, with all these adjustments on here, I can move my back bar around and stuff. So right now it's definitely in the way a little bit. But I'm just going to bring it to full draw and see what how it feels. I think I would do good with a tiny bit more back weight. So we're going to play around with these in a bit, and we'll get back to you in just a sec. Alright guys, so got my stabilizers going, except for it's really hard to sort of mess with the bow with the stabilizers on it. So I took them off and set them right there for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw the side on, which I'm using the... Uh, AR-19 sight. It's a single pin. It's actually a hunting sight, but pretty cool looking. So, trying to get something for my bow. Bow is not flopping around. But I've got the stabilizer thing on here. So, now, with all this stuff in the way, I'm going to grab my two bolts. And the wrench I need. Yes. Okay, now. I set it in that hole. Alright, y'all. Battery was getting super low, so I went ahead and finished. This is completely finished. 30 inches off the front. 10 off the back. I got, like, Eight, ounce, eight or nine ounces back here, and like three or four up on the front. I might do more, might do less later on, not sure. Got my sight on here, my arrow rest, got everything basically built, put together. Um, again, I'm still going to work on some tuning stuff and all that, but thanks for watching our videos. Really, if you want to see more videos like this, go check out our Facebook page and our, no, our YouTube channel if you want to see more videos. Go check out our Facebook page anyway, just because we're super cool. And be sure to subscribe and leave us a good thumbs up. Thanks for watching.